Hi, this is Aunt Flo, and well, as you all know, Valentine's Day is coming up right around the corner. And well, as I always say, when you're single, Valentine's Day is like nothing but a giant chocolate-covered slap in the face. Yeah, but I so I'm not too excited about Valentine's Day, but I'm excited about the alternative, which I bet you didn't know, but there is one, and that is um, Singles Awareness Day, or SAD for short. So. I just want to make everyone aware of the fact that I'm still single, single woman here, in case anyone's interested. And you better hurry up because I'm afraid I'm approaching my best of years by date. Yeah. So anyhow, you know, I've been on the online dating community for a good couple of years now. I went on Plenty of Fish. Yeah, well, that didn't work out too good. And then I went on Christian Mingle. But that didn't work out too good either. But um, I'm not going to let it discourage me. In fact, I've updated my profile to reflect the virtues of the virtuous woman in Proverbs 31. In fact, I've been updating my whole lifestyle. I'm trying to meet a God-fearing Christian man. You've got to set a good example yourself, you know. I so, well, God-fearing Christian woman don't lay in bed all day watching soap operas and eating bonbons. No, sir, she gets up at 5 in the morning, makes her portions for her household and her servants also. Well, I don't have any servants, so I just make extra portions for the man who sleeps out in the stairwell. I don't know what she does is she runs a business, selling linen. So, well, I didn't have any linen, but uh, I made some stuff out of cotton and I sold it on Etsy. And, uh, well, she br she's like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. So I've been shopping up the IGA ten blocks away. Got that one covered. She girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. So I, I don't know how she does all that, gets up at 5 in the morning, runs a business, cooks for the whole household, and still finds time to work out. Uh, but, you know, I recommend just by going to the IGA. So far away, I'm girding my arms with strength, just carrying home those groceries. Well, Proverbs 31 also says, uh, reach out to the poor and stretch your hand out to the needy. And so, well, I've had um, Hobo Joel here staying with me. Well, he's poor and needy. He's a little shy. I met him on Christian Mingle. I know he's a little introverted. I met him on Christian Mingle, but it's not what you think. We're just platonic. It, yeah, he's, you know, he helped me be a better Christian by staying at my place. We ain't got nowhere else to stay. And um, it also says, come here, Joel, I got something for you. Come here, honey. Uh, the Bible says, you're going to like this one, so that you should uh, give strong drink and wine to those who are poor and miserable, so that they can forget their misery. So here you go, Joel, I got this just for you. Hallelujah. Praise, praise the Lord. Ain't that great? I just, see, you see what a difference it makes already? Look at him, he's so happy now. Like I said, he's a little introverted. Anyhow, Valentine's Day's coming up. And I won't be celebrating it, I'll be doing Singles Awareness Day, but I just want to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day, or a happy, sad, as the case may be, and God bless from Flo.